work from home, classes from home, booking from home, shopping online, what not, everything online. Was it possible a few days back? Few years back rather. Why has it been possible? How much fast the development has taken place? So, do you also think that development communication and journalism is a hot topic for today? So, hi and welcome to Knowledge is Fun 2020 where we are going to talk about development, communication and journalism, the importance of which has only increased in these times of the pandemic. Has it been not the development and communication? Possibly none of the classes and work from home would have been possible. It's true that the development has been forced to move at a very fast pace because of the pandemic, but then it has increased the importance of development communication even more. So in this session, we are going to talk about the importance of development communication and journalism, but for social change and development, not just for any particular task, we are going to deal with social change and development. Then the skills which are required for a career in communication and journalism. And finally, in the last video, we'll talk about the scope and career options available. As it is very clear that the topic or development of communication is going very fast. So the choice for communication jobs is growing at an exponential pace. Now, talking about poverty, environment, corruption, health, these are all the social issues, very important burning topics for the social life today. And all of these are covered through social media, TV, radio, print media, and it is all through these media that we come to have information about all these issues which bother our society. Have you ever thought that why and where does it happen? How is it that this news reaches us? What is happening? Who writes what is happening in the society? How do we come to know? So, it is dealt by the journalist. It is the journalist who covers such topics and they assist or enable us to know about them. So, this is communication. Let us try to understand first what is communication. Communication is an integral part of our social and professional life. So in this part, we'll mostly deal with the social life and how does it create a profession. First, what is a communication? Communication is actually a two-way process. It's not a one-way process. Unless it is two-way process, it is not complete. So the first thing in communication or the first medium is the sender. So if we take an example of this class, the teacher who's taking the class is the sender because she wants to say something to the student. Then until and unless she, she has a message, possibly she won't be the sender. So having just have being a sender is not enough. Then you need to have a message. For example, when I'm giving you this video, I am the sender and the message is communication and introduction. Now the next step for communication is the channel. So this teacher is using the channel of the blackboard. So the message is 2 plus 2 and the channel used is a blackboard and a chalk. So channel is the medium through which communication takes place. This little girl is the receiver who is getting the message and when she gets the message she gives an answer 4 which is the feedback. So once you get the feedback the communication channel is complete. Have you understood the process of communication? I'm sure you must have. So make it two way. In the comment box, don't forget to write down that you have understood the communication so that I get the feedback that the message is clear. Now, this was in a classroom. What happens when you are talking about mass media, print media, phone, television? So all this is also communication. Who is the sender? Who's the sender? It is the person who has the message. It could be a journalist. Whatever is written is the message. The channel used, it can be a print media, it can be television, it can be uh, internet and the person who watches it. For example, you are watching the video, so you are the receiver or whatever you write down in the comment box, that will be a feedback. So journalism 
let us talk about it as it seems to be a very important topic so journalism is basically an activity of gathering assessing creating and presenting new information so the first thing is you have to gather the news or the information then you have to assess who will gain who will be interested in the news then you have to create the information and then present it jaise main ye video de rahi hu first i had to gather whatever i have to pass on to you the information about journalism this was my topic then i needed to assess who will be needing it then i created this ppt and now i am presenting it so this is journalism and it is also the product of all these activities so after performing all this this particular video it becomes journalism <laughs> this is basically a class i'm just telling you so ye jo aap sari uh, news channels aur ye sab dekhte ho this is all journalism here we'll be talking about development journalism so this is a branch of journalism where the social activity through various media the journalist communicates the feelings of the community to the community for example if there is poverty in the community it is communicated to rest of the community by the medium of development journalism the role played by media in journalism is that in a democracy people have a right to opinion and expression we have the freedom of speech which is guaranteed to us by the constitution it is a fundamental right and it cannot be a reality without the print media you meet 100 people a day maybe if you are a very popular figure you meet 500 1000 people in a day but it is not mass media you won't be able to send the news to whole of the world so people have to depend on press for information the world is shrinking and it is the media which has made the world shrink so the importance of journalism is that it is an inseparable part of any democratic system the democracy works only on the, through journalism elections ho rahe hain nahi who's winning whom should you send cast your vote to it is all covered by journalists so people's participation is the foundation of the democracy and press is called the fourth pillar of democracy you know the three pillars they are given in the constitution and press is the fourth pillar of democracy by this you understand how important is press the theory and practice of development communication and journalism continues to evolve even today so it is a new branch earlier it was thought the journals journalists just have the power to give you the news which is to be passed on by the government but now journalism development journalism and communication is evolving and it is characterized by conceptual flexibility is it is very flexible flexible you can cover the health issues you can talk about the education issues so it is flexible and changing each day the significance of this communication is that it creates awareness about the available technologies we also come to know that what all technologies are available then it mobilizes people to use them for the betterment of society see it was only because we were aware of the technology mobile internet that the classes could have been conducted work from home could have been done even in lock time the society continued to move forward so it links the government agencies ngos and the people so all the different uh, participants in a democracy are brought together by media so the de development communication and development journalism what is it the definition important field of study that sensitizes the students to the process of development how development takes place and trains them to write or speak about issues related to equitable and impartial society so development communication or development journalism is a separate part or an integral part of journalism where the students are taught to talk about the problems of the society so that the development of the society can take place so the aim is to equip with the students with the current and prospective journalists obviously the students are the current and prospective journalists campaigners and media professionals to deepen their knowledge and practice skills on development issues so that they can talk of the development issues and move forward now before we move ahead we need to understand the basic concepts first what is development every time we talk of development but what is development this is development yeah this is development which class is more developed what do you say the first one where you have internet this is more developed possibly yes so 
we need to take our classes from here to here and this is development to bring about a change but this change can be brought about only when we all move together towards a higher status so development is positive changes in the socio economic and cultural lives of majority of people on a permanent basis remember it is majority of people so here we talk of majoritism without any exploitation or violence it calls for intensive efforts to tackle the problem of mass literacy population malnutrition poor health hunger pollution etc there are so many problems this signifies the problem of illiteracy is, is or the problem of education and lack of uh, information now development journalism it is a relatively newer concept why because post colonial it evolved only during the post colonial era before independence the reporting was only about the issues of struggle fights disasters assassination wars and the colonial rulers whatever information they chose to communicate was communicated to the masses nothing else but after independence the newsmen and the journalists took notice of the activities related to development the water crisis poverty age old problems health issues so journalists took notice of all these issues rather than what was aimed by the rulers to reach people so development journalism it focuses on success stories of people who have adopted new technologies tried new methods and helped the society it seeks to describe the people who work in new project and processes and this is how they seek to take the society forward and have a developed society mm-hmm. now development communication let us understand the concept it uses utilizes the power of communication as a catalyst for social development so it it tries to increase the pace of the social development so its aim is to systematically apply the processes strategies and principles of communication so as to bring about a positive social change where the society moves from underdeveloped to developing and finally to developed society it was first coined in 1972 by nora c quibral and she is the one who coined this term so 1972 it's a very new branch or its definition is it is the art and science of human communication it is both the art and science of human communication which is used for facilitating development of disadvantaged society so disadvantaged society also needs to move forward with the support of other society in a planned manner to ensure equity and achievement of individual potential so every individual reaches its potential this is the aim of development communication its essential features are that it is oriented to socio economic development and happiness of people and community happiness classes we are all taking happiness of people and community it aims at giving information and education to the community it educates community about the prospects opportunities and the latest techniques available it combines mass media and interpersonal communication channels for greater impact and based upon the audience characteristics and environment now suppose you audience characteristics now suppose you have uh, i am presenting this uh, slide or this class to an illiterate audience would it be able to fo- understand it there you don't need the written form you need movies so it depends upon the audience characteristics so development communication is also a two way communication between those who have the information and those who are ignorant so in this picture if you see this has information there is information in the brain whereas this is all clogged up in the second one so development communication is again a two way process from the person who has information to those who are ignorant it assumes that people who face problems they have the innate ability to find the solution you only have to channelize them you only have to motivate them and assist them in seeking the resources they have the ability only guidance is needed so it tries to build dialogue between the people and the development agency see manrega and self self development schemes they all try to only 
uh, give motivation to the people. So it is a social process designed to seek common understanding or consensus among all participants in development leading to concerted action. So if all of them are on a sim similar platform, the government, the uh, NGOs and the poor people, the ignorant people, then you can bring them on a common platform, motivate them and move further. Now to see this, let us take an example of the Red Ribbon Express. This is an example of how the things can move forward by development communication. So Red Ribbon Express, it was a special train or coach train which comprised of seven coaches equipped with acute educational material, interactive touch screens and 3D models, an LCD projector, four performances also took place and counseling cables with two doctors were to provide medical assistance and all this was done only to enable the society to understand the problems and the significance of AIDS. The project was implemented by National AIDS Control Organization NACO with the help of Nehru Yuva Kendra Sangathan. You have already heard about Nehru Yuva Kendra Sangathan and international agencies like UNICEF and UN AIDS with the cooperation of the Indian Railways. So this train it reached so many places and because of this it was able to educate the people and I've already told you it had so many interactive uh, methods of teaching people. Now there were many stations where the people were uh, the train stopped and the people were educated about the problems of AIDS. Now, in the next video, we will talk of the methods of developmental communication that is campaign, radio and television, print media and lastly information communication and technologies. These are all the ways by which we plan to develop the society and take every person along with us. So I hope the topic is interesting and this is the last chapter of our home science class 12. See you in the next video with the second part where we talk about the career and scope along with the methods of communication. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.